so welcome back guys so before starting a lecture if you notice one thing that our ui of webflow has been changed and you might be getting confused about how things are working here and how the things look different from our previous lecture so a few days ago uh, two days actually ago uh, webflow has a conference and they updated a lot of new features they added a lot of new features they updated the design also but one thing you guys have to know that the design is only changed there are some new features here but for you everything is on that same place it's just the icons and the look and the feel of whatever the designer used to look like is changed so for example if i click on this add button all the elements are here but their logos and some new elements are introduced and for example the page is here pages are here and this navigator's icon has been changed okay and then components and this assets panel that we learned about all of uh, these things are still there for example if i click on this element on the right side i can change the css classes and give a width and height and text and font and everything else it's on the same place so you do not need to worry about anything else few things have just uh, one thing on the top is uh, this responsive layout like tablets and everything i can we can navigate here it's all the same you do not need to worry about all of the new changes you just get used to this because there is no way to get back to the old view it's just we have to follow with the new view so let's get started with our new lecture uh, today we are going to learn about lotty files now lotty files are small animation files that we use lotty animation for example these animation these can animations can be continuous or these animation can work as for only once and they like just work for once and then they stop these animations can be added uh, with the help of lotty files and webflow give us a pre built uh, element to add lotty animations to webflow websites if we click on this add button and then we scroll down here and on the media section you will find this lotty animation element if i drag and drop this inside this container you will find that uh, the element is there now now i have already downloaded a lotty animation here now if i replace it with this one okay it's huge and it's big uh, what i can do here is i can restrict it with width to 100 pixel or maybe for just to show you it shouldn't be that big uh, but just to show you this is the lotty file and now lotty animation element has some settings here for example you click on the settings tab i can replace the setting here i can play and preview if i drag this here and i can play and preview the full animation that it gives us now what you can do you can speed up this duration for example if you want this animation to uh, be faster you can reduce this number okay you can reduce this number to like 2 seconds and it's going to be really fast now for example you can uh, make it like very slow okay you can do this but if you want to use the built in settings on which speed this icon was built you can just click on this button by default it is selected and it's going to give you that setting back now for example if you want this animation to be looped for example you have you want this to be keep playing you can this uh, you can click on the loop for now it's just just going to play once but for next time it's going to be getting looped and it's going to keep playing now there is one other setting here you can reverse this uh, animation for example you from the end to the start it can be reversed played for example if i click on this and if i play this animation is getting reversed think about this that you can do a lot of things with these lotty small animations and these are very useful we are going to learn way much more about this in our future lectures when we are going to build a full fledged website and we are going to use this lotty animation in a very advanced way after this i am going to show you about uh, a lotty website this very famous lotty files it has they have a lot of free files i just downloaded this one you can go to this website or you can just google and on the google you can find a lot of free lotty files and you can download them and use them into your projects and if you want to go and check this website this website name is lottyfiles.com you can go and download any file 
just for your practice if you are not able to download that means it's paid but there are a lot of free elements you can find here and you can download and use them i just downloaded this one this was free so that's it for this video see you in the next video